What happens to your body when it's in a coma? Can we dream in a coma? And if it's truly a state of nothingness, then why do some people wake up from comas speaking a new language? Let's see what science has to say on one of humankind's most mysterious states of being. People who wake up from a coma remember things that didn't actually happen. Some people who have been in comas have reported vivid dreams and hallucinations. But researchers believe it is highly unlikely for anyone to dream while deep in a coma. Simply put, during a coma, your brain never enters the stage of sleep where dreams occur. So why do some people have nightmares? When you're in a coma, your brain is trying its best to make sense of what's around you, but it's malfunctioning, and these hallucinations or nightmares could be the brain's attempts to figure out and make sense of the outside world. The human brain has a system of neural pathways known as the Reticular Activating System, or RAS. The RAS is an on-off switch for our consciousness and sleep. If the cells in the RAS region lose blood supply or oxygen, they shut down, such as during a stroke. Or if trauma causes brain swelling that presses down on the brainstem, the RAS can shut down then too. Both of these situations would put a person into a coma. Functional neuroimaging shows that comatose patients do not show any kind of neural patterns that indicate conscious awareness, even after various forms of stimulation. At the same time, however, comatose patients still have their non-cognitive capacities. They have a heartbeat and breathe normally during a coma. This is because the brain is usually the only part of the body that is affected, so other parts of the body, like the autonomic nervous system that controls heart rate and breathing, remain unaffected. What's wild is some people wake up from comas speaking a different language. Scientists aren't 100% sure why yet, but they believe it's similar to another rare cognitive condition known as the Foreign Accent Syndrome. Foreign Accent Syndrome is an extremely rare condition in which brain injuries change a person's speech patterns, giving them a different accent. This occurs because the brain is readjusting and rewiring itself after suffering from a trauma. But researchers believe that people aren't speaking a new language. What they're actually speaking is a combination of what they've learned and what they've unconsciously picked up and stored away. There are different types of comas. A vegetative coma is where a person has been unresponsive for a long time and can last for years. Unlike a person in a full coma, a vegetative patient is in a state of partial arousal, but still lacking in true or full awareness. Other comas caused by a traumatic brain injury might only last a few days. And medically induced comas are comas that a person is intentionally placed under. This usually happens when doctors want to limit brain activity in order to allow the brain to heal. The longest recorded time for someone being in a coma is 42 years. This person, American Eduarda Obera, never recovered and died in her comatose state in 2012. But in the UAE, a woman recently woke up after 27 years in a coma. While we may be able to intentionally induce comas, we clearly haven't figured out how to pull people out of comas that weren't medically induced. But the brain is an incredibly complex system. As we learn more about it, there is hope that we will one day be able to save patients from this long, unwelcome slumber. <laughs>